Hi everyone, today I'm going to be sharing my deep cleansing routine for my Clarisonic Mia. This is a facial cleansing brush. I've had mine for about four years now and it still works great. I really enjoy this brush because it amps up my cleanser. It has a one minute timer uh, just when you turn it on. It lasts for about a minute and then turns off. It allows my skin to just get as clean as possible, just with very gentle circular motion on your face, neck, um, and even back. There are body brushes available too, but anyways, it's just a really great, great tool to allow all of your next skincare steps to work even better because since this cleans off all of that, that dirt bacteria and uh, dead skin cells, it just opens up your pores to allow all of your other products to really penetrate deeper into your skin. So, that being said, it does need a little bit of maintenance um, when you remove your brush head, hopefully after every time you use it just to let your brush dry. This brush, the brush head itself should be replaced they say every three months, I'd probably say twice a year if you keep it in good condition. I always remove my makeup before using my Clarisonic and cleanser. This is um, an oil makeup remover from L'Occitane. I will just rub this onto dry skin and then rinse with water. All my makeup comes off. And then my favorite cleanser right here is the Go Deep Cleanser from Fruch. This is a Toronto-based brand, but it's a fantastic cleanser. It foams up and has little uh, bits of pumice stone in there, a very, very fine grain. It, it exfoliates beautifully. So I'll use that with this Luxe brush head. My skin is fantastically clean after that, but you do have to make sure to keep it in good condition. So whenever you can, just put a little bit of, of hand soap into the, the brush head itself and then just maybe um, brush it around with a old clean toothbrush. And then the soap that I'm using right now is just a Lotus Aroma hand soap. This is a nice Canadian natural brand, so anything that is just pretty basic will work. Make sure to get as much kind of uh, residue off of your brush as possible. You can even just get a little bit of soap and suds it around inside the brush as you would with makeup brushes and stuff. So if you keep your brush pretty clean, maybe do that once a week, just give the actual brush head a nice clean. It should last pretty long. Now as for the brush handle itself, you'd be surprised to see how much bacteria actually sits underneath the inner ring right here. So what I'll do is I'll actually wedge a knife under here and pop out this little plastic ring. There are gold nubs that kind of keep it in. So I just wanted to zoom in a little bit closer so you could see. I'm going to pull out that inner disc gently with a knife. Actually move that and just pull it right around that little holder. There we go. So hopefully you can see there there is some very visible I feel like it's mildew, more of like a soap scum residue, all of those uh, dissolved minerals in our water. Now for something like this, a toothbrush is gonna work okay to really get into that main center part. But something like a little tiny brush, this is actually a really good, uh, what's it called, this uh, Salka brush. It's really good for cleaning around your gums, but it's perfect for these little detailed jobs too. So pick up a second one to clean your uh, brushes and tools. So I'm just going to get some warm water on again. I'll actually put just a small amount of soap right second, right into the center there. Now I'm going to go in with the big brush just to kind of suds it up right around. You can clean the mechanism. This is a fully waterproof brush. If I were to buy a facial cleansing tool right now, I would probably get something like the Foreo brush. It is a silicone facial cleansing tool and it's more of like a cleansing pad versus a brush. I just think that it's a bit more cost effective since you'll never have to replace anything. The charge holds for like six months versus only a month. Um, and it looks cool, uh, and I do believe that the silicone is a bit more gentle on the skin, but I think this is still a really great tool. Anyways, personal preference, but once you get it all cleaned up in there, you can go in with another little brush and just get right into the corners where most of that pink gunk was forming. 
Also, don't forget to clean that disc too. And just clean this with your hand or brush. So that is my routine on how I deep clean my Clara sounding brush. I'll only do this maybe two, three times a year, nothing too intense, but I definitely notice a big difference in just the overall cleanliness of my brush when I take good care of it like this. So good luck. Let me know if you have any other tips for keeping uh, your Clarisonic up to speed and I'll see you guys later. Bye.